Hey guys, James Gann for TFB TV. This week I'm coming at you from the Gander Mountain Training Academy in Orlando, Florida for the Blue August Expo. Now for those of you who don't know what the Blue August Exposition is, every year the marketing group Blue August puts on this conference where you get to see a lot of the lesser known, smaller run products out there and you get to give them a little more attention than you might at, say, something like SHOT Show, where you've got all the major manufacturers and tons of huge products. That said, the Gander Mountain Shooting Academy behind me has a virtual range, a full-size range, training classrooms, computers, a lounge with leather sofas. It's pretty cool, and we're going to be in here trying out these new products over the next few days. So let's go take a Gander. Ares brought the MCR, which is an M16-based platform, extremely modular. You can change the barrels out in three seconds. It's a short-stroke gas piston operating system, so that allows you to fold the stock and actually use it while the stock's folded. It'll fire in belt-fed or mag-fed modes, and I was lucky enough to take it for a spin. Jeff from Ares was also glad to show us how quickly you can switch from belt fed to mag fed and vice versa. Pretty cool gun, but it looks like it's gonna run about 2,500 bucks. Might be worth it though. Now we've got the new PKO 45 from Heiser. It's a single stack 45. Maybe the uh, thinnest single stack 45 in existence. Let's see how it shoots. surprisingly manageable because you can see it's got a, an extremely low bore axis, the, uh, similar to like the Chiapa Rhino. It's, it's got a uh, the barrel kind of rides under the slide. So uh, pretty neat. Helps with that recoil mitigation. Uh, this is a pretty innovative product. Alright guys, now we're here with ATI and they've got the new Mill Sport. This is an all aluminum AR-15 uh, rifle. It's the Mill Sport 9. It's got, as you can see, a free floating key mod handguard. It takes Glock magazines, uh, 16 inches, 9 millimeter, and the retail is $7.99. Right around there, yeah. As you guys can see, perfect performance out of this. Very light recoiling, as you would expect, out of a, a light recoiling round like the 9mm. And I think people are going to go nuts for these, especially considering it's a popular platform. It is the AR platform. And it's going to be accepting Glock magazines, also popular. Very cool stuff. Like it. ATI is going to be importing a new 9mm handgun from a company called BB Tex, uh, which was started by a former Glock and Steyr engineer. This is the BB Tex BB6, which is a striker fired 9mm. Uh, pretty neat stuff. You can see it's got these uh, gutter sights, like the Steyr, the old Steyr M series pistols had striker fired. Uh, double stack interchangeable grips. Oh, and it's uh, it's made in Austria, as you might expect. ATI is also introducing a 100% made in the U.S. 1911 with a polymer frame. That's uh, this gun's made in South Carolina and it is, they're very proud of it. It accepts Glock sights, which is pretty innovative. Super lightweight at 1.6 pounds. 
uh, accepts all 1911 parts except for the sights. It's also got a removable plate for you guys that like to use mini red dot sights on your 1911s. I'm here with Wayne from Spikes and we've got the new Recluse, which is a 9mm AR with an integral suppressor and it shares some qualities with the MP5 SD in that this suppressor will actually slow down your 115 grain and 124 grain 9mm rounds to make them subsonic, which is a really cool feature and I'm not aware of any other gun other than the MP5 SD that has this particular feature. Uh, it's a dedicated 9mm lower, it takes 9mm Colt magazines, and it's got a very reasonable MSRP of $2,000, and uh, Wayne here believes that that price may come down in the future as well. While I'm big on SBRs, this is a 16-inch gun, so we're talking one stamp here. You only need to get the stamp for the suppressor, and, uh, and you're good to go. But anyways, let's see how it shoots. So as you can see, not only is it quiet, but it's got some weight to it, and you're shooting the 9mm, which is a very mild round. So uh, between the weight of the suppressor on the muzzle end and the fact that you're shooting the light recoiling 9mm, this thing's actually really, really easy to shoot. And you guys can see what happens when you have an integrated suppressor in a gun. See how much quieter that is than having the external can uh, threaded onto the end. It's much quieter than having a standalone can. This is an excellent product. The release should be what, Wayne? In uh... about a, roughly a month from now. Okay, and release is going to be roughly a month. Bond Arms also showed up to Blue August, and they brought a ton of their Derringer-style pistols. They prefer to call them double-barrel pistols, not Derringers. But they brought them all shapes, all sizes, colors, calibers. And speaking of quick change barrels, they showed us how quickly you can take the barrel off by just removing a screw, then put a new barrel, and even if you want uh, a barrel of a different caliber on your lower, tighten that screw back up and you're on your way. Uh, guys, I'm here with Garrett from Bond Arms, and he is a, what, three-time world champion? Derringer shooting. At Derringer shooting with the Bond Arms gun. He's actually got a, a gorgeous custom gun that I took a picture and some video of inside. I'll, I'll put that in the video. But uh, he's gonna show us how it's done. Uh, let, me, let me get the camera in here and uh, we'll watch Garrett with his magic. Next up, we have the Bursa BP9CC. Now, you guys know I'm really excited about this because it's a concealed carry pistol, only 0.94 inches thick, which is about the standard, comparable to, say, your cars, your other stack 9mm. It's an 8 plus 1 capacity, pretty lightweight. And one interesting thing that I learned when we were in the seminar was that it takes Glock sights. So you can just pop these sights off and put Glock sights right on. I think that's brilliant, great idea. And another thing, Eagle was really emphasizing how good the trigger is on this pistol. That's the selling point of the BP9CC is the trigger. And I've dry fired it in the classroom and I do agree, it has an excellent trigger, but now here I'm in the range. Uh, let's see if it, if it shoots as well as it dry fires. Wow, uh, pretty good for, that's more than enough for a concealed carry gun. Uh, the trigger, again, is excellent. They weren't lying. I'm probably going to do an in-depth review of one of these in the near future. I was so impressed with it. 
Eagle Imports is here today. They've got the Metro Arms Max series of 1911s. These 1911s are made in the Philippines. They're very economical. They're, they just showed me a hard chrome standard 1911 that they call the American Classic, which starts at 499 MSRP. And the hard chrome, not nickel, not stainless, but hard chrome. The hard chrome version starts at 599. So these are some inexpensive guns. They make them all the way from the American Classic on the low end to the high end Mac versions. Let me give this a shot. How do we use this fancy thing? Okay, I'll show you. Damn. Hit the new brick distance. Wow, really not bad. That's 15 yards. Nice tiny little group. Nice gun. So next from Eagle Imports, we've got the Grand Power K100 series. I'm really excited to try these out. These are double stacked Slovakian pistols. Now you guys may remember that these have been imported a couple of times in the past. And for whatever reason, they, it, they weren't properly marketed or what have you. They just, they didn't take off. They've got the rotating, as you can see, a rotating barrel that reduces recoil by up to 25%. Polymer construction with a steel underframe and an excellent trigger. So just as described, very light recoiling between the polymer and the rotating barrel very light recoiling um, and it, the trigger is really really good I mean it has got it's a very short reset it's a crisp trigger with a very short reset very impressive Arrow also showed up to Blue August and they had some really neat announcements they're building complete uppers now that are going to be top quality and pretty reasonably priced. They're also building super lightweight scope mounts that are gonna be around $60, $70. They won't make them in quick disconnect, but the versions that they had, if you're looking for non-quick disconnect mount, these are going to be an incredible value. Aero also showed off their new limited edition upper and lower matched receiver sets that they're going to be doing in limited runs. Finally, Arrow announced that they had somewhat of a loose partnership with Silencer Co. and they were going to start making 300 Blackout and 5.56 rifles and uppers that came complete with the Silencer Co. Omega at an extremely reduced package rate. Like you're saving four or five hundred dollars off if you bought the components separately. Great showing from Arrow. I'd also feel guilty if I failed to mention these Hygenol let off wipes. Again, not the most exciting thing in the world, but they showed these at the Blue August convention. And they are the only wipes that have been certified by the CDC to remove 99.9% .9 of lead and other heavy metals from shooting from your hands, your face, whatever. So lead being as nasty as it is, um, I think this is actually a really cool thing for shooters, and I think you guys should look this stuff up, especially if, you know, you go to the range and you want to stop and get a bite to eat, grab a beer or something afterwards. You don't want to get this shit all over your mouth and face and stuff like that. So, anyways, really cool. Not as exciting as, like, a new innovative gun or anything, but, uh, but still pretty neat. So, check them out. Anyways, guys, I had a real blast. No pun intended at Blue August, and I can't wait to report from it next year. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thanks.